Hello and welcome back to another gold farming video. Today we are going back to some old world farms, so we're checking out at least one old world farm. And that is one of my favorite old world farms or old expansion farms of all time, which is the Baby Crocs in Oldham. Before we talk about this farm though, I want to let you guys know that I have uploaded a skinning gold farm to my Patreon, giving patrons early access to a Shadowlands skinning gold farm to kind of make it so there's less competition. So you can enjoy it more and for a longer time with higher quality as I do believe there's a certain quality to keeping the farms on the low key so there's not any bots doing them I have had little to no competition on the farm myself I've been enjoying it the last couple of days as there's been little to no competition and I'm making between 40 and 50k gold per hour basically it's a regular skinning gold farm it's just another version of the farm where you have less competition. That one is on my Patreon channel, it will come out as a public video as well. In a couple of days, maybe over the weekend, but it's on my Patreon right now. So you can go and check it out over there, it's literally available for any patron tier. So back to this farm. You want to go to Uldum, you want to go all the way down south where we are right now, you might have to speed to see Dormi in Ramkahen to actually turn back time. If you are playing as a level 50+, plus, then in BFA, if you're level 50 plus, you will go to the BFA version of Uldum. Then you will have to go to Ramkahen and speak to Sidormi to turn back time to actually go to the Cataclysm version of Uldum. Once you are here, you want to step on these egg piles right here. That will spawn baby crocolisks on your character. Do not jump, just use an AoE attack and skin them. And they will die instantly, by the way. It doesn't really matter what class you're playing, your level or anything. Just make sure you're... Let's say, let's say level 40 plus, I don't really know what level Cataclysm is for, but the level doesn't really matter, you just jump on the eggs and kill them. It's very easy, you can see the level 35, so be level 35 plus. Have Cataclysm skinning, if you just have one skill, that's fine, you will go all the way to max skill in 5 minutes, doesn't really matter. Especially for this farm, you will go up to max skill in 5 minutes, because you kill them so fast. So for the farm itself, you are stepping on these eggs. Step on the eggs, do not jump, use an AoE, AoE ability, kill them, skin them, loot them. After you've done that, you want to jump to shake them off to clear the debuff. You need to clear the debuff and shake off all of the crocs before you go to the next egg pile. Otherwi otherwise, the, the egg will uh, kind of bug out, so it won't spawn any crocodiles. So make sure you do what I'm doing right now and jump to shake them off. Once they have shaked off and you can see the debuff goes away, then you pull the next one. Then you just do the same thing on repeat, go to the next egg pile, loot them, or kill them, skin them, loot them. You want to make sure you have Darkmoon Fire Water to skin faster, and you also want to make sure you have Potion of Treasure Finding to increase your gold per hour from the farm. From my 1 hour test, the Potion of Treasure Finding gave me 4000 gold, so as long as the potion is cheaper than that, you are making a profit. That is the average gold per hour, by the way, from all EU realms, as I'm using that one right now on my loot appraiser. So we are using region market value average, meaning it's the average price of all EU realms. You can also see in my banks we are getting a ton of different things to open, including the bloated stomachs as well, giving us volatiles. We are getting pyrite, ember silk, we are getting tons of savage leather. And one advice is to actually turn the savage leather into heavy savage leather to both increase the sell rate, so make it sell faster, and you will make more profit as well, so it will sell for more. So crafting it into heavy savage is just a good thing. Depending on how much you farm, you might have to sell some of them in heavy savage form and some in regular savage form as well. And you can see these crocolisks just bugged down, so I don't know why, maybe I didn't clear the debuff. So make sure you clear the debuff before going to the next egg pile. You don't even have to click on the egg pile, you just have to, to walk on the egg pile. And yeah, they will spawn on your body, you don't want to jump, just, just kill them and loot them. And that's it. This is one of my favorite farms, it's very chill, easily soloable, and since there are 8 egg piles available, there's, it doesn't really matter if there's any competition, because as long as you have 2 egg piles to go between, you have enough. You can do 1 pile, and by the time you have skinned 1 pile, Another one will have respawned, so there can be up to 4 people, maybe even 5 farming on the same realm, and there's pretty much never that much competition for the farm itself. It's also a very good farm, giving you tons of gold per hour in terms of many different materials and transmog items. 
but it will give you a lot of things and they will take some time to sell. So for me, this is a gold farm I love to do for 1-2 to two hours every single month to just stockpile and increase my stockpile and then sell it over time. Basically, it gives you a lot of gold per hour in value, but it will take some time to sell, so it's not like you want to do this farm for 10 hours every single day. Unless you're playing on 50 servers, then maybe that's fine. But if you're playing on one server, then 1-2 to two hours every single month is more than enough. And you're also making tons of gold while doing it. So you can see we made 74.5k gold per hour from this farm. That is kind of fake value though, there's some transmog items that are fake value. But some of them actually do sell for quite a bit as well. So I would say it's about 40 to maybe 50k gold per hour depending on if you decide to sell the transmog. But even in terms of only savage leather without crafting it into heavy savage leather, I am making 25,000 gold per hour from savage leather. You will make a bit more by crafting it into heavy savage as well, giving me about 30k gold per hour only from that. Then also 5k from the potion of treasure finding, so 35,000. And then just add some transmog on top of that as well. So that is it for this farm guys, just a very quick farm that you guys can go and do, it's an old expansion farm. One you can do for 1-2 to two hours every single month just to increase your stockpile, and sell over time, it's a really good farm to do. Gives you a lot of gold per hour and that's pretty much it. Leave a like on the video, leave a comment as well, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again very soon.